In this session, we are going to look into headless browser testing using Selenium. It was a request from a YouTube subscriber and a connection from LinkedIn. A headless browser is a browser that does not have a user interface. Therefore, we will not see our test scripts execute in the browser UI. However, the benefit is test scripts execute much faster in a headless browser. In our test script, I'm going to show you how to perform this process using three drivers, HTML unit driver, Chrome driver, and Firefox driver. We can also use S driver, which is similar to Chrome driver and Firefox driver. Phantom JS has been discontinued as a way to perform headless browser testing. For HTML unit driver, we must get the dependency from Maven's repository or download the jars. I prefer to use the dependency. So let's search for Selenium HTML unit driver. The version is 2.52. Copy the dependency and go to our pum.xml file to paste the dependency. Reload all Maven projects. Our test script starts with at test public void HTML headless browser HTML unit driver driver equals new HTML unit driver we can also use web driver as the type and not HTML unit driver by default HTML unit driver runs without a browser therefore the next step is to load the browser. Before I load the browser, let's go to the AUT, which will be orange HRM. The test script will enter username, password, then click the login button. Admin is the username. Admin123 is the password. Inspect the username. And we see an ID value of TXT username. Password has an ID value of TXT password. The login button has an ID value of BTN login. Copy the URL and go back to our test script. Now we write driver dot get paste the URL next step is to find all of the elements driver dot find element by ID and the value for username is txt user name send keys has a value of admin with a capital A password driver dot find element and it has a value of txt password for id send keys the value for send keys for password admin 123 a is lowercase next is to click the button driver dot find element by id the value for button is btn login the method click last step is to print the page title this will help us to know the test script executed as expected because we are not going to see the browser HTML title driver dot get title in order to run the test for HTML unit driver, we must remove the dependency for Selenium Java. If not, there will be a session not found exception. In the pum.xml file, 
I'm going to comment out the dependency for Selenium Java. Then reload our Maven project. Now, let's run the HTML unit driver test script. It passed. There was no browser, but the console showed HTML title orange. There are two ways to perform headless browser testing using Chrome driver and Firefox driver. I'm going to show you both ways, starting with Chrome. First, let me remove the comment for Selenium Java, reload the project, and start with Chrome at test public void Chrome headless browser one. One is the first way I'm going to show you. And first is to set up the Chrome driver with web driver manager dot Chrome driver dot set up Chrome options. Options is the reference. New Chrome Options. Chrome Options is a class for managing options strictly for Chrome. At this point, our options is to set the browser to headless with a value of true. Pass in the object reference options is the last step. Now, we're going to copy and paste the remaining test script to load the login page. And when I say pass in the options reference, web driver, driver equals new Chrome driver. And this is where I pass in options. It is the object reference that I pass in. And put a space right there. Now I'm finished with Chrome driver the first way. I'm going to change the title to Chrome title one. And that's all we do. With the second way, we only change set headless to add arguments. Copy and paste. And change one to two. Options dot set headless, go to add arguments. And the value is two hyphens head less. This method Let's our program know we want to set Chrome to be headless. Change Chrome title one to two. That's it. Those are the two ways to perform headless browser testing in Chrome. It's the same steps for Firefox. So I'm going to copy and paste these steps and change Chrome to Firefox. And I may end up Fast forwarding the recording, because all I'm doing now is changing Chrome to Firefox. And you may not want to see me change all of these values for Chrome to Firefox. Let's run for all of the methods. No browser for Chrome or Firefox, but we see Chrome title orange one, or Chrome title one orange HRM, Chrome title two orange HRM, Firefox title orange HRM, Firefox title two orange HRM, and we see the exception for 
HTML unit driver, session not found. Exception, yes. That's it, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you are interested in more videos, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon. You can also follow me on Twitter, connect me on LinkedIn, Facebook, and I'll make sure to place the transcript and code on GitHub. Thank you. All Part 1 eBooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's the Selenium Automation Book. And TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.